my parents came home and sat us down and they said, Kaylee's got a tumour. And I was like, what? what's a tumour? Everyone else was upset, but I didn't quite get it. I thought it was just going to be something we could cut out. I had no idea of what we were in for. To watch her going from a happy, healthy nine-year-old to a sick, frail, bald ten-year-old was just devastating. When a cancer diagnosis happens for a teenager or a young adult, either their own diagnosis or that of a close family member, it does turn their lives upside down. My parents weren't there, my sister wasn't there, my grandma was living with us. My teachers even didn't really understand. No one at school, they just didn't get it. You're trying to lead this normal life and something terrible is happening on the sideline and you just want to stop everything and go and focus on that, but you can't. We support those young people to get through that emotional crisis and then eventually to just get back on track and get back on with life. We just got welcomed in with big open arms. Got to enjoy ourselves as well as deal with some heavy emotional stuff that we hadn't yet. They had people who were trained in helping me work through it and be okay with everything. I think I'd be really lost without that. It was a really, really quiet, sad day. At the end of that day, she just took a last breath. My sister and I both wanted to do nursing. Then when she passed away, I was like, yep, this is 100% what I'm going to do. Laura's been involved for three years on the committee now and more recently in a leadership position as vice president. She always has something of value to offer in discussions. She is always willing to put a hand up. I'm more of a support network now for people. Like I, that's what I see myself doing with Canteen. Thank you.